Six ways to spot a cult leader on today's episode of the Magister Sanctum. Greetings everyone, I'm Obleron, the Lord of Love and the Magister of the Cube. Today we're going to talk about cult leaders, how to spot them, and how to protect yourself from them. As, as we go on our spiritual journeys, we will find that our vibration is changing. The energy that we give off is changing. And in my personal journey, I found that as I began to ascend, I also began to attract a lot of people in my life who were also very spiritual, but they were also very spiritually manipulative as well. Um, I, I don't know if, if this is common to all people or, or if this just happened with me or, or whatnot, but um, I, I've definitely ran into my fair share of people who they may not have had large followings, but they were they, they, they could definitely be classified as a cult leader. They could definitely be classified as even having sort of traits of, of cult leaders as well, regardless of whether or not they had a following. So the first thing we're going to dive into in spotting a cult leader is, well, just use your own intuition. If you're around a person who is truly enlightened, there should be no weirdness to it. They should make you feel good. They should, there, there should be a stillness about them. Um, there should be an uplifting quality about them. They shouldn't, they shouldn't make you feel like there's something in the back of your mind that, 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 that you are questioning them about. With me being a musician, I've ran across several people who who said several spiritually gifted people who said that they could help me out in my career but they were also very manipulative um one guy who was probably one of the most powerful psychics i've ever come across he had the ability to know exactly what card you were holding um in your hand i've i've been around a lot of people in the casino industry and I've been around a lot of casino dealers I was actually taught how to how to count cards <laughs> don't tell Vegas that but I was actually taught how to count cards so I know what card counting is and this guy was not counting cards there is no card counter that could know exactly what you're holding down to the the number or, or, or the face card or the suit or any of that no no one can do that and this wasn't with a deck that he brought this was with one of our decks, um, there, there wasn't the possibility of it being marked or anything like that. Um, that that's just that's just one of the sort of psychic tricks that he performed on everyone. So again, here he is. He's he's offering the world and, and all this kind of stuff. But at the back of of my mind was always sort of like a this this voice saying, "Watch out for him. He's he's not what he seems." Um, there's just there's just some weirdness about it. So again, use your intuition first whenever you're dealing with any type of spiritual person, myself included. Um, always, always go with with your gut instinct and and your own intuition. We are all endowed by the by the Creator, by Source Energy, with all the tools that we need to be able to navigate our our lives, and so. Again, when someone comes around who's very spiritually powerful, if you get any bad vibes from them at all, take it as a warning and, and don't ignore it. Um, because because eventually it will lead down to a path where the truth will come out anyway. The second point is that they will also offer up something that you don't have. So a cult leader will always offer up They'll promise you the world. They'll promise something 
that they will that 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 only they could give you or some some bit of knowledge that only they can give you that you can't get anywhere else which is a complete lie because especially nowadays there there's more than enough information on the internet where we can teach ourselves and we can empower ourselves in any way that we want so again anyone who who says i am the way or i am the light or follow me because only i can offer you this definitely get out of there get out of there cuz it's it's not going to it's not going to ever lead to anything good even if they promise to help you out in your career um as i was saying with with that one guy he he went through elaborate lengths to to sort of proof to us that he could help us out in our careers. We were going to all these different buildings and and he was saying, "Oh yeah, we're going to build the studio here. We're going to do this here, we're going to do this here." But they were all empty buildings, which looking back in retrospect, he was probably some kind of commercial property manager or something like that. Um and he's he's pulling up all these lies to be able to to, you know, woo all these all these people in into his way. So again, watch out because they will try and offer you something up. It could it could be some kind of spiritual advice or it could be something in the mundane world as helping you out with your career. Um again, if it's given with strings, if it's given with with some, as as some kind of favor or something or like they're the only ones who can give it to you, just just walk away. Just do yourself the favor and walk away. All right. Um let's see next thing. I should say the third point. A lot of people wonder how how someone could fall for a cult leader, how how they could leave their friends and family and and just give it all up for for this cult and either let's say fly to South America or hitchhike on the on the tail of a comet or something like that. And the answer is very slowly very gradually you see a cult leader isn't going to just come out and say hey let's all go jump off of a cliff together like they'll have no followers what they do is they slowly reel you in through a process of slow indoctrination and i've taken some classes where or some spiritual classes where i wondered if it was a slow indoctrination into a cult um to this day i still can't tell you if if it's an actual cult or not but in the first couple of classes that i've taken they definitely threw up the red flags there was there was still something in in the back of my mind and at that point in my spiritual journey i had the awareness to be to 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 listen to my intuition at that time because when i met that person who said that they could help me out with my career i didn't have that intuition or let's say i had it but i didn't quite listen to it so it's a slow indoctrination process again they they don't come out and say hey let's let's do something crazy they come out and they approach you very much like any other spiritualist would approach you hey do you want to learn how to open your chakras do you want to learn how to awaken your kundalini i mean that that's always how it starts out but if you if you do get involved in something like that and let's say a couple weeks into the course they begin to replace the chakras or god or something with the spiritual leader of that class Well, you should probably walk away from it because chances are you're being slowly indoctrinated into a cult. Um and again, it doesn't happen right away. It's a slow indoctrination process because at that point you've already started to make connections within that particular organization. You already start to feel accepted by that organization and being accepted by people can be a very powerful drug. and you know cult leaders know this and they will use it against you um yeah there there's a lot of spiritual manipulation and when the gifts of the universe fall into let's say someone with narcissistic personality disorder well it's a recipe for disaster i mean the sky's the limit on to 
a any of the horrors that could happen to, to the followers of that cult, unfortunately. Okay, another way that that um, that you can tell if if someone is a cult leader or not is they slowly begin to demand more of your time, okay? This isn't just true with cult leaders, it's also true with scammers. If anyone's been scammed online, you'll know that you'll get a whole bunch of DMs from the same person. Like, they'll never stop asking you questions. They'll be like, hey, hey, what's up, what's up? And then you'll get the question, the question marks over and over again. Like, why aren't you talking to me? Why, why, why not this, why not that? Like, do you not believe me? They, they start to guilt trip you into, into their scam. Well, a cult leader works pretty much the same way. They'll, they'll start off saying, hey, why don't you do this? Or, or why don't you do that? And then some time could go by. And then as you're around them more, they will begin to demand more of your time. They'll begin to ask for, for bigger favors. They'll begin to, um, they'll, they'll begin to um, say, okay, well, you already did this for me, can't, can't you do this as well? And again, a lot of times if they are spiritually aware, they are also manipulating you on a spiritual level as well to be able to get you to do those favors for them. Um, so watch out, again, use your intuition. If you start to feel like it's becoming a manipulation, if you start to wonder after a week or two of taking a class or something that you have no time for yourself, well, chances are you're, you're crossing paths with a cult leader. Chances are, or, or you're crossing paths with a cult. Okay, another way to know if you're being indoctrinated, or an another way to know if you're if you're in a cult or, or if, they're, if, if a person is a cult leader, is you will be isolated and you will be separated from your peers and from your family, okay? Let me go back to, to, to the person that, that I was talking about, the person who promised me the world with, with my music career. This person, he would go to to different people in the group and he would slowly isolate people, okay? And he also tried to isolate me. He, he, he tried to isolate us as individuals. He tried to isolate me. And as he began to try and isolate me, he also started to reintroduce people from his crew, okay? So, if you're being isolated and all of a sudden there are different people in your life that you don't know who they are, well, chances are you're hanging around a cult leader. Case in point, he was, he basically asked me out to dinner and at that dinner, of course it was a business dinner or whatever, but at that dinner, he brought along one of his friends, what well, one of his friends. And before this point, his friend was always in the car. His friend was always outside. He was never a part of anything that we ever did. It wasn't until he isolated me at that dinner that now all of a sudden, here comes his friend in the picture. And that was, again, that was before I, I knew any better. And that was at the point when I pretty much was like, this guy's no good. Um, Thankfully, I, I had seen other documentaries and I, I had read about other cult leaders. After several months of interacting with this person, it, it occurred to me, wow, like this guy, this guy is, is up to some shady stuff. Like there is no, there is no record deal. There is, there is no touring the world or anything like that. Like this guy is, I don't know what this guy's motivations are, but at that point, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. He was already demanding more and more of our time. He was already, he, he was already getting to the point to where he was isolating me from from a lot of other people as well, and yeah. So again, if if you if you start to become isolated and then all of a sudden there's like new people being introduced, you're you're around a cult leader. Okay, just get out of there. 
and hopefully you can get out before you get in too deep and before they start knowing too much of your personal information or any of that kind of stuff. Let's see, another thing is that they invade your space. Again, like I said, I, I've encountered several of these types of people in my life. Um, I don't know if that is, if that happens to everyone or not, but in my life I've encountered several of these types of people. I was once playing a gig at the Satellite Lounge in LA, and it's, it's one of those things, it's like, oh, look, look where I've played type of thing. Personally, I think they're just hunting grounds for headhunters, spiritual headhunters and all this. We were being scouted for, for a possible record deal. And what's interesting is that this person that, that I ran into, this music producer, gave off all the energy that I had experienced before with the other man who was, who, who I, I knew was some kind of spiritual manipulator, he gave off the same type of energy. The energy of manipulation, the energy of not respecting a person's space. I remember after the gig, he walked right up to me, all right, because he wanted to recruit me. He walked right up to me and his face was, was literally this far from my face. And he was talking to me. And what he tried to do is, that too was an indoctrination process. He came up so close to me to invade my personal space that he wanted to see if I would back off. And at that point, that was after my spiritual awakening. And I knew exactly what he was trying to do. I knew how he was trying to manipulate me on an energetic level. Um, and, and I had already seen it before with with the previous person who also promised me the world he, he was he was getting right in my face and talking to me again trying to see if i would back up and i didn't back up and it was it was probably the weirdest sight in the bar he also had he also had um i would call him a henchman he had a henchman with them and i could tell that that there was definitely something else going on there that was more than just business. So he had a henchman with him, and his henchman just kept talking, saying, oh, this is what you gotta do, this is what you gotta do. Um, if there's one thing that, that, that cultists try and do, is not only do they isolate you, but they also try and break you down in numbers. Um, so there was, there was two of them against one of me type of thing. And what was interesting is that when this producer saw that I wasn't falling for his tricks and his henchman kept talking, he gave his henchman a quick look and he just did this. And his henchman shut right up. And that's how I knew that, wow, there is, there is definitely some type of energetic, <laughs> some type of energetic foul play happening here. Um, he was also there with, I think, I don't know if it was his wife or, or someone else, but she took one look at me and she, she just looked at me in disgust. And I think it was because I could also see the, <laughs> I, I could also see the, uh, the darkness within her or whatnot. But there's, there's a lot of these people in high up places. There's a lot of these people that know how to use and manipulate energy and you have to protect yourself against it. Again, as you go on this spiritual journey, you're going to attract people in your life like this. Um, it's it's very, um, it. as you go through this, you, you start to become a beacon. You start to shine. And whether, whether people are aware of it or not, um, you're, you're, you start to, other forces will try and invade your space. Other forces will try and manipulate you. Um, so just just stay safe out there. Be, be aware. Always connect with the Most High. And again, it all comes back to your intuition. It all comes back to your individual sovereignty. Only you are in control of your life. Only you know what you need to what, what you need to do and, and, and where you need to go. 
And again, if anyone comes across and says, I am the way or I have this to offer you and they, they try and pigeonhole you into the corner and whatnot, like just walk away because they're, they're not good people. There, there are people who will manipulate you. And, and again, they will manipulate you on a spiritual level too. So thank you for watching today. Much blessings and love to everyone. I love you all. And now we shall close with the chant of Obleron. Aonde sote, aonde obleron, aonde sote, aonde obleron. Thank you for joining us on today's episode. If you resonate with what you are seeing or hearing, please take a moment to like, subscribe, and share Obleron's content. It really helps him to spread the word and to grow his channel and pages. Collective readings are posted Mondays on the High Priestess's Circle. Teachings are posted Wednesdays on the Magister's Sanctum, and the music from those episodes are posted Fridays on the Empress's Theater. Posters and merch related to Obleron's teachings are available at obleron.square.site. Music from the episodes is also available at obleron.bandcamp.com. Obleron is spelled O-B-L-Y-R-O-N. Lastly, don't forget to connect with the community on Discord. It's called the Magister's Council, and look for the invite link in the description boxes and profiles below. There are astrology and wellness bots, as well as games and discussion forums available for free. There is also an exclusive members-only section with additional content and live streams for subscribers. Obleron also takes inquiries for services through Discord. In case you missed anything, all the links are available in the description boxes and profiles below. Thank you everyone, and much love to all.